graffiti, desecration of tombs, insults, threats, physical assaults. Anti-Semitic acts have jumped since October 7th, Hamas's attack on Israel and the war that followed. One figure shows the influx clearly. The number of acts surged by 1,000 percent since October. This anti-Semitism has been deeply, structurally entrenched in French society for many decades and even longer. And depending on the context, including events in the Middle East, but not only, it can turn into anti-Semitic acts under different forms, and its proportions can change, which is what is worrying now. Sixty percent of acts are directed at people, 40 percent at property. The study, based on complaints brought to police, shows that almost 13 percent of acts are carried out in schools. To illustrate the situation, I share that one of my friends who has children aged around 10 took their Star of David necklaces away from them. But she didn't want to scare them, so she told them that necklaces had to be cleaned in a jewelry store. That's the reality of anti-Semitism today. People change their names when using apps. They move their mezuzah, that little box that is placed on the side of the door. The risk is to see Jewish identity be blurred out, erased from French society. Jewish leaders, though, say that Jews should keep their traditions as often as possible. The trend isn't limited to large cities. Cases have been reported on 94 percent of the French territory.